Country is a central concept for us as First Nations people in Australia. Country can represent a multitude of things. It can be aspects of our physical landscape, such as our lands and waters. But it can also be our animals, our spirituality, law, languages, and the ongoing relationship between all these things. The Central Coast Clinical School and Research Institute is located at the Gosford Hospital site, which is on Dark and Young Country. Even before the building was constructed, it was decided that respect for country and First Nations peoples needs to be reflected within the design. It was also decided that all art and design within the building would be done by First Nations people in response to the landscape. The staircase acts as the spine of the building and it houses the first piece of artwork selected for this institute. Nicole Monks is a multidisciplinary artist from Western Australia who is of Yamaji Wajari, Dutch and English heritage. Monks is informed by her cross-cultural heritage and her work takes a more conceptual approach, aiming to promote cross-cultural understanding and communication. This work is made up of emu feathers upon feathers, layering to form a grand circle, with light bouncing off and peering through the fibres. Placed within the Thuru Indigenous Health Unit stands a really large cut of sandstone. To include this material brings an element of country into the Institute and grounds the space within the broader history and geography of Gosford and Dark and Young Country. It has a band of ironstone in it, which is the element that attracts lightning storms across the plateaus on Dark and Young Country. This piece was designed by Dylan Finney, whose family comes from Arnhem Land. The mural is directly inspired by the function of Dark and Young Country as a meeting place for not only the intersection of lands and waters, but as a place for people to connect at this site. This piece is filled with references to Dark and Young Country, from Mount Yango in the centre to the Waratah flowers as these grow in abundance in the sandstone regions. Standing at over 18 metres tall alongside the eastern facade of the building is a collaboration between Auntie Danella Waters and Dylan Finney. Taking up around half of the building, it's inspired by woven dilly bags and the memories Auntie Danella has of her grandmother. It also incorporates the image of the sea eagle, which is a prominent symbol for coastal Aboriginal communities. The act of weaving can also represent the connecting of the past and the future weaving strong futures for the health of our community. Through art, we can honour and respect country. Through art, we can connect to place and people.